It was one week ago that Alberta Health Services warned intensive care units in the province were busier than they've ever been. Alberta's third wave hit hard. But with cases now beginning to fall, the province is looking aggressively towards opening back up. In short, it means that uh, finally getting back to normal. And I think it means the best Alberta summer ever. Part of those summer plans include the Calgary Stampede. While other cities have already cancelled events like Toronto's CNE, there are plans to hold a rodeo and midway here in just over a month's time. Conklin is coming, as I understand it, for the midway. The Cowboys are coming for the rodeo. Um, I'm, I'm sure the young Canadians and, and all of the local performers are, are geared up. Alberta is betting on a single dose summer being enough to get the province back to normal in a hurry. On June 1st, people can gather in groups of up to 10 outdoors. Patios and hair salons can reopen. And outdoor sports and performances with up to 10 people can resume. Two weeks after 60% have one dose, outdoor social gathering limits move to 20 people. Indoor dining resumes, gyms, movie theaters, youth sports and day camps open. And large events like concerts and festivals will also be permitted with up to 150 people. After 70% of Albertans are vaccinated, projected for early July, all further restrictions will be lifted. Alberta's former chief medical health officer worries it's too much too soon. Yes, it's setting it up for a fourth wave. The science is pretty clear that the new Indian variant will be 1.617 in people who only had a single dose is quite good at infecting them again. Uh, you really need two doses to get good protection. This does not look like an evidence-based plan. It looks like the Premier is working backwards from the stampede. There won't be a parade kicking off the stampede. The Premier says the City of Calgary won't be issuing a permit for that. But after 15 months of restrictions, the rides and rodeo are a go. Whether that kicks off the best summer ever, we will see. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary. The decline in case numbers in Ontario has given hope for a return to in-classroom learning before school's out for the summer. While some parents want their children to have the opportunity to go back, others believe it only makes sense to keep them home to avoid any new outbreaks. As Eric Sorensen explains, with just weeks left in this school year, it's crunch time for the Ontario government to come up with a plan. This is a pivotal moment for Rebecca Steinhoff's children and two million Ontario students from kindergarten to grade 12. Will they go back to classrooms before the school year is out or not? They've been learning from home since April 19th. Rebecca wants her three school-aged kids back in the classroom as soon as possible. My kids um, are really just missing their friends, missing school. They're disengaging from online learning. Um, I think they need that kind of closure um, that going back would give them. It's a race against time to get COVID numbers down enough to reopen the schools before they close again for the summer. Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health is pushing for it. I've been uh, encouraging schools to open as soon as possible. Most Ontario health districts now have very low rates of COVID. Even the two Ontario regions inundated with cases, Toronto and Peel, have seen case numbers drop by two-thirds in the last three weeks. Schools should be the last to close and the first to open. Other parents, though, prefer to keep their children learning from home. Kyla Harrington works from home, so it's convenient, and she thinks it's safer in a pandemic. My instinct was to keep my kids home. Uh, I went straight to safety. I knew my son with asthma. My kids are grade 3, grade 6, and grade 8, so they're, they're more independent, um, and so they can handle the responsibility. Some doctors believe kids should not be hurried back into classrooms when COVID variants can still spread easily. Will there be outbreaks? Yeah, I'm sure there will be outbreaks. And so to have a child go back to school and only to have that school close again, that I think that's very hard. We have some differing opinions. Ontario's Premier is being pressed to make a decision as early as this week. Schools can reopen with care, says this infectious disease specialist. That really does mean, you know, lower class sizes, open windows, a lot more outdoor use of classrooms. Um, if you can make an achievable plan based on that, I think it's reasonable. Some parents feel so much was lost in the last year that their children should be allowed to repeat their year. Shanice Jackson's child has special needs. She doesn't really feel like she's learning the way that she should be learning, trying to repeat grade six. She's ready to, she wants to. But there can also be adverse effects from youngsters separating from their familiar cohorts. There are no easy answers. My kids, you know, ask me every day, are we going to go back? Are we going to see our friends for the last month of school? Rebecca Steinhoff wants her kids back in school. 
but also just wants a decision to be made. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.